Okay, let's talk a little bit about AI. And um, basically what I've done is I've taken the X position of our character, and if that X position is less than the enemy's X position, then, you know, fix it. Wherever the character moves, the enemy will follow. And I've also got an animation for the enemy as well. Uh, you know, I've, I've done my move count plus one sort of deal. Same thing I did to animate the character. And, you know, I've implemented a few tricks here and there to, uh, I mean, it's not perfect. The skeleton kind of looks like he's hopping on one leg. But, you know, it'll it'll do for a little example. I'm sure you guys can figure out a better way of making that happen. But, another thing I want to stress is the main loop. You know, the main loop is the best way to keep track of the flow of your program. And you see now that I have the character in there, then it goes to the enemy, and so on and so on. Let me see, what else am I missing here? Yeah, I also have it to where if the enemy is right on the character, then it'll go into battle. Let's, let's see how all this works here. As you can see, the enemy chases me around. And if he catches up to me, then we go into battle. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much how that works. And uh, if, you th if you think about it, as long as you see enough examples of how these things are done, you can...